Hello everyone, another update for the Space Arcade game. So here's the Git page for the entire Star Wars mod for Space Arcade. This mod was completely built within the engine. So aside from the models which were made in Blender, um, the engine just basically loads the models and you assign like collision and objectives onto the actual ships. So the like generators and gun turrets and things can be placed manually. Uh, the avoidance spheres, all that is placed in the engine. And so to play this, all you have to do is clone this repository and run the space battle arcade.exe, and the mod is contained within the game data. So if we go to game data, you can see there's just Star Wars mod, which all which has all the model files and everything like that. So if you go to the mod section, you can edit the actual Star Wars mod. You can go to mod, select Star Wars. Go back, if we go to dev menu, we can load up the model editor and actually look at the TIE fighters and the other ships. And, and you can configure them. You can see there's some rectangles here that are setting up the collision for this TIE fighter. If we go to the X-Wing, you can see that the X-Wing has collision based around the wings. I added a feature where you can specify where the projectiles are spawned from, so you can now place this at the gun turrets on your custom models. That's what those pink spheres are. You find all the details on setting up a model within these header. So you can configure the team, the projectiles, collision, all kinds of stuff. So the carrier ships are here too, the avoidance spheres are set up, all the objectives are set up, and if you go to the level editor, you can select, you can select any level and so you don't see the carriers in the level because this level was actually set up for the base game and it had the base game's models. But there's code where if you try to play this level it, and it can't find a carrier in the level data, it will just use the game's default carriers, which when you set up a mod, you set up the, like, the Empire ship was set up to be, the Star Trek was set up to be the Empire ship and the Rebel ship was set up to be that Rebel ship. So if I click play here, I will go, I've gone into the match and so that's all you really have to do to basically play the mod. So you can actually just copy the levels over from another campaign and they would just work. It's not much to say, uh, most of the mod tools have already been covered, but this is kind of an example that you can use to make your own mod. Until next time, see ya.